Good morning, everybody in YouTube land. This is Paint Creations with a do-it-yourself video on how to paint small little parts that a lot of people have problems with, but I know a few tricks from the trade and uh, I'm gonna share one, so let's go. We need to paint all these parts and we've got to make sure that we paint all the edges as well because it would look funky if you didn't. So if I paint them like this, right, you can clearly see that all the edges are touching. All the edges are touching. So when I go to paint them, all these edges aren't gonna be covered. So there's a simple solution that only takes about five, 10 minutes to make the whole job look that much better. So if I paint them like this, and you go to install them and put everything back together, all those edges are gonna be exposed and it's gonna look funky, it's not gonna look right. So instead of painting them on a piece of board like this, yeah, they'll look good, but the edges won't look good, so it'll distract from all your hard work that you try to do. So the solution, all you need is baling wire and some wire cutters. Here we go. I'm gonna take this baling wire. It's about mm, seven, maybe eight bucks. And the nice thing about baling wire is, is that you can bend it multiple times and you can reuse it. And it doesn't do it doesn't ever break. A lot of people will take a coat, coat hanger, and they'll try and bend it around, then it snaps like three times and you gotta throw it away and start over again, and it's frustrating. So baling wire, seven bucks, reuse them constantly. Comes in a big roll, no big deal. Any hardware store, anybody, everybody sells this stuff. So it's an old painter's trick. So, we got these bezels for um, off-road lights, right? See all the holes? Anybody can clearly see that? Okay. So we're, gonna take, we're gonna take some wire, and unroll it out. We're gonna cut a little bit. Boom. Stick it in, obviously, because see how small the holes are? So, stick it through. Make a loop. Tie it up. Now you're done. So now you do this for all of them. And these actually can hold a lot of weight. I've held up trunk lids, I've held up hoods, I've held up tailgates. I mean, you name it, I pretty much, this stuff is really, really user friendly. Um, be careful because when it unravels, it unravels a lot. So just kind of let it relax. Now these guys, right, those were easy. These covers here, see these, see the holes? We're gonna do the same thing. But these are super light, they're plastic. So they're gonna blow all over the place when you go to paint them. So you wanna make sure they're stable. So we're gonna put two in each one. Maybe a little overkill, but make equal lengths. Same thing as we did the others. Equal, equal lengths of wire, not a big deal. So now, they're gonna get 100% coverage on the edges all the way around. And we're gonna hang these up, so I'll show you that in a second. So let me get these wired up real quick, and then we'll move on to the next. We had to come up with a way to hang all these up. So, obviously you see, all right? If I can catch this through the mounting holes, no wire is touching the actual piece that we're going to paint. Right? See that? So sometimes you just got to be a little bit creative. In this aspect, I don't have my paint booth yet. It's a brand new shop, so I had to come be. You had to think outside the box. So I took my ladder, took some rope, ran it through, and 
ran it over here to a lock for my parts room. Got an opening right there. Slid the rope through it, around, tied it up. It's nice and tight. My parts are secured. When I go to spray them, they're not gonna fall down. They're not gonna move or anything like that. So just a little creativity that can, um, you know, 10 minutes worth of creativeness and save you some money and move on to the next thing. So to sum it up, like, subscribe, the new channel. I've been in the game for 30 years. I got all kinds of tips and tricks. Um, I cover a lot of different aspects in the automotive world, car meets, cruises, mini trucks, low riders, you name it, plus the paint and body work. So hope you find this helpful. Like I said, $7, $8 worth of material, a little creativity. We'll get these parts painted up, back to the customer. They'll be happy and we'll move on. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.